Hello and welcome to WTD Concepts, where we forego the cool guy shooty shoot intros and get right into the subject. Uh, today I will be reviewing the Alien Gear Shape Shift Appendix Inside the Waistband Holster. Um, this is for my SIG P365X, so let's get into it. Uh, first off, um, I am not sponsored in any way. Um, they didn't send me this holster, they didn't pay me. Uh, they have no clue who I am other than the fact that I'm in their customer database. So I actually bought the whole, uh, their core carry pack, uh, which is, you know, a big box uh, that comes with an appendix carry holster. Um, and then you can modularly uh, convert it into an inside the waistband, sort of more like a four o'clock holster. There's an outside the waistband holster. There's an option to sort of mount the holster underneath. Um, it's not four holsters. It's one holster that can be manipulated or modified into, into four different variants. So I really wanted to like this holster. I did. Uh, it's a super cool technology. Um, it, the whole idea of, of being, uh, being modular and being able to convert to like if today you wanted to wear it at four o'clock you could do that more comfortably uh in their four o'clock position um or if you want to wear appendix you can use this holster um i only wanted to carry appendix but it was only like 40 extra bucks for the other three and so i was like oh, i'll try it um i wanted to like this holster so much um but it did not cut it um so i'm gonna go through the pros and cons here uh one thing to note is i am Pairing this with a Core Essentials leather one and a half inch belt. So it's a reinforced concealed carry belt. So it's not like I'm using it with some floppy uh, regular belt. Uh, I am carrying a P365X. Um, some things that I'm looking for in a holster, just to give some perspective here. Uh, I want the holster to be concealable. Um, concealability is very important to me. I know there's some people who don't really care about that, um, but I do. Uh, I want a holster that uh, positions the gun correctly and has the right retention. So I want a holster that's got you know a click retention. This one does have that. Um, I want a holster that can adjust cant if I want to adjust cant, or, or more importantly, adjust ride height. Um, so those are all things that are important to me. Uh, and then lastly, I want a holster that's easy to put in and out of my belt. Uh, on a typical day, I probably... Uh, put my holster on and take my holster off on average two to three times a day. And so when you do that two to three times a day, uh, it gets annoying if you have a holster that, you know, has a bunch of loops or you have to like re-thread your belt through. I'm, I'm not about the, the soft loops or any of those style holsters where you have to take your belt off every time you want to put your holster on and off. Um, so those are some things that I care about. So that's going to shape the way that I feel about this holster. Um, so... Let's get into the pros first, and then we'll get into the unfortunately lengthier cons. Um, so pro number one, uh, this holster system is super modular. Um, just go check out uh, Alien Gear's website. Uh, they uh, explain all the different ways that this can be configured. Um, it's such a cool technology. I, I wish I liked it uh, because I can see if there's some people who like to carry a different way based on the way they dress. Uh, this kind of makes sense to have a modular style holster. Um, unfortunately it does, I think all of those things, all those different carry styles, it does okay instead of being really good at one thing. Um, I obviously care about the appendix carry holster, so, uh, it was just okay for me. Um, but it was a really cool modular concept. Um, so one of the big benefits of this holster is that it has this neoprene pad here that sort of helps prevent sweating and stuff like that. And it's supposed to be soft on your body. So you're not getting hard plastic touching your body. Unfortunately, and I'm going to show a close-up picture of this, the rim that this lining here, whatever material this is that's kind of holding this neoprene down, has just like an abrasive edge here. And I'll show another picture. Um, unfortunately, you're going to have to look at my bare stomach. Um, but it basically rubbed my stomach red like, and, and agitated it within like three hours. Um, and I wasn't even doing like a whole lot. Of, I was sitting and standing, um, but I wasn't like, you know, doing yard work or, or doing a ton of bending over. And so it was really discouraging that, uh, it was, you know, that uncomfortable enough. 
uh, after only three hours. Um, so that's a con, unfortunately. The pro there is that if that didn't bother you, like if you wear an undershirt or if for whatever reason your version is softer or something, it is a very comfortable holster. Having this shape around the edges uh, when it's you know inside your waistline, uh, it's very, very comfortable. I did wear this another time with an undershirt and I wore it like all day and it was super comfortable. It's like I almost forgot it was there. So the, the semi pro there is that uh, if you're wearing an undershirt or basically where at least for me, where this is not touching my skin, um, this holster is probably the most comfortable holster I've ever worn. Uh, another pro, uh, the way that you adjust uh, retention on this holster is toolless, uh, sort of. So this is one of the little locking lugs. So you can pull this off and it's got this, these little square ends and you stick those square ends into uh, that hole. I'm not going to do it because I like the way that this one is retention. I guess I'm returning it, spoiler alert. Uh, but you can, you can twist and change the retention on the fly. Um, it's just nice not to have to dig up the original, uh, the original tool like Allen wrench or something to adjust the uh, retention. So I think that's a pro. Uh, and then lastly, uh, it does have over here, um, here and here, it does have some sideways adjustments. So you can move this uh, sort of chassis this way, left and right, which I, I assume also means you can get some level of canting uh, left and right. Um, so that's a pro. Uh, personally, I think that ride height matters more than can't, um, but I suppose that's user preference. So those are my pros for this holster. Um, unfortunately, there's a lot more cons. So the number one con uh, was what I mentioned before. I couldn't help but, hide, uh, but, but say it, which is that that neoprene edge here was just scratching into me and it was uncomfortable. And unfortunately, I cannot wear this holster uh, comfortably without an undershirt. To me, uh, that's a deal breaker because I don't typically wear an undershirt unless it's getting really cold and I'm wearing a sweater that's scratchy or something like that. I, I don't like to wear undershirts just for the sake of making my concealed carry more comfortable. Um, so that's my biggest con. Um, there is no uh, claw uh, on this holster. So there, there's nothing that's pressing up against the belt. Uh, I've talked about holster claws before. I think they're extremely important for concealability. Uh, and so it makes this holster, uh, it makes the grip of the gun stick through my shirt and, and print through my shirt uh, much more than uh, it would with other holsters that have claws. And so that's a deal breaker for me. Um, and on top of that, I'm an engineer. I have a 3D printer. You've seen in my other video uh, about the Ex Concealment Express uh, holster claw that I designed and 3D printed a holster claw for that. And it was super easy. It was uh, that holster uh, allowed for me to very easily uh, design and, and add on a holster claw. Uh, this I mean, this is so crazy geometry here with this whole, all the modularness. Um, there's like nothing for me to attach to. Um, so I didn't even want to try to design a holster claw that would, uh, you know, fit in with this, this chassis here. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, speaking of no holster claws, uh, I'm going to throw up on the screen here. This is just some sort of side by side of this uh, shape ship holster uh, compared to uh, my new holster. Uh, the Roswell holster from Alien here. Um, they, they had a promotion for this, 40 bucks, and they threw in a free uh, mag carrier, OWB mag carrier. And so uh, knowing that I needed a new holster, I just went ahead, got this one, and I will be returning the, uh, the Shapeshift holster. Um, and this has a claw on it, and I've attached uh, my own custom wedge. It comes with a wedge. I just wanted a wedge that was more like this. I've used this material before and it's very comfortable. And uh, you'll see in the side-by-side -side that the uh, alien gear here, this belt clip shows, but even worse, the grip of the gun shows much more than in this Roswell holster. And the only thing that this Roswell holster really prints badly is this clip right here, this sort of like swooping, swooping clip here. Uh, you can see these two points like pretty distinctly. Um, I actually have plans once it's past this 30 day warranty. I think I'm going to take a Dremel tool and I'm going to file that down and try to smooth those edges out uh, and that'll improve the concealability. 
Um, so first two cons, uh, the stitching around the edge. Second one, there is no claw. The third one is um, this gun has no ride height adjustment. Um, so for me, what I do not like is that that grip is very close to my belt. So if I'm if I'm going down trying to be quick, my belt is getting in the way. I cannot you know fit my fingers in here very easily to get uh, in on the grip. So I don't like a, a super low ride height. I know some people do, um, but it's just not my jam. And there's no way to adjust that on this. Um, this this clip right here, um, it connects here, and it actually helps hold the holster together. Um, so unless they made different sizes of these clips um, at different ride heights, uh, there's no way to adjust the ride height on this. Um, that comes into my fourth con. My fourth con is this clip. So if you see here, this clip has a little bit of a gap here. Um, and it is really easy to put on and off, but unfortunately, um, on the range when I was doing um, some just draw and shoots, the, the whole holster didn't come out. However, uh, this clip did start to come off my belt and was sort of like midway on my belt. And I think the only thing that was really holding it into my waistline was just the friction um, of this on my skin. So uh, the, the belt clip is pretty weak. And to be honest, that's kind of to be expected. This is an all one piece injection molded belt clip. And you'll notice that most holsters that have like a really tight belt clip, like this one is almost too tight. I'll explain that in a later review video. Um, it's super tight, but you'll notice that it is two pieces. The belt clip is separate from the actual Kydex shell, or this is actually injection molded. Um, but what that allows you to do is you can, you know, load, you can preload the clip. Uh, when it's two pieces uh, when it's one piece there's no way to mold this where it's like phasing through the material and then you can preload it and then it has like some nice pretension so they they did the best that they could um, but that that clip uh, is is too weak in my opinion um, and just in general look how bulky that thing is I mean it's like almost like a quarter of an inch I don't know anyone who has a quarter inch belt that's one and a half inch wide um, and so it, it definitely prints as well uh, and that is really my, my last con, which is that this clip is super bulky. And in general, the, I don't know, we'll see if we can get this on camera. Um, but in general, if we exclude the wedge, uh, you know, this, this holster setup, especially with the clip uh, and the backer, is a good quarter inch, maybe even three eighths of an inch um, taller than the Roswell, which is, you know, just a, a typical uh, shell style holster. Um, and it's noticeable. Um, I am five foot six, 158 pounds. Um, and on my frame, uh, you can tell when I'm carrying some big bulky holster, um, even for a gun like the, the P365X. So, um, those are my pros and cons for this. Um, here's my summary. Uh, I, in general, don't think this is that great of a holster. Um, for appendix carry it does a lot of things okay um the one thing i will say i would recommend this holster to anyone who wants a very comfortable holster that either wears an undershirt every time they conceal carry or that this doesn't bother them um if if this edge doesn't bother them maybe i just have sensitive skin or something um or they wear a t-shirt um, underneath and they're, they're always protecting their skin uh, from from this edge this is a super comfortable holster you can wear it all day um, and you hardly even know it's there um, it really conforms to your body with this backer shell I mean that's or this backer here um, that's that's the whole point um, so I would recommend it for that but it's you got to be someone who also doesn't care so much about printing the grip through your shirt as as much um, so I'd recommend it for someone who wants a really, really uh, comfortable concealed carry, but doesn't care about uh, concealability as much, you know, doesn't care about adjustability uh, in, in ride height and such. Um, but otherwise, I'm, I'm going to say that this holster did not uh, really live up to my expectations. Um, I think uh, for me and the things that I like um, so far, I've only worn this Roswell holster for a couple of days. I got to at least put it. Um, a week through it before I, I start to have some more well thought out um, opinions of it. But 
having the claw is a necessity. Um, that's a, a, a major feature in my opinion that needs to be there on a holster. Um, it's got a good clip. Um, it's, it's small, compact. You know, I think that it, it's hard to compare this holster to, you know, one of these more standard holsters that's got a, that's got a claw, um, and, and has a, has a good belt clip. So that's my opinion. Um, I'm sure alien gear won't even see this uh, video. Uh, sorry to, to trash your holster here. Um, honestly, I wanted to like it, um, but it, uh, it just missed the mark. So anyway, uh, I hope, uh, you viewers enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it's helpful. I hope you find the right holster. I know finding the right holster is, is a journey for everyone. I personally am trying to avoid the giant box of holsters and basically wasted money. Um, so luckily alien gear does offer a 30 day, uh, return. So I am going to return this and I appreciate that. Um, and that kind of customer service is why I bought another one of their holsters. So, uh, thanks for watching and have a nice day.